What's up guys, it's me your boy Steve Random here and in today's video I'm doing kind of a testing out this cologne and seeing if this is a clone a clone of Creed Aventus. This is Club de Nuit Intense Man. It's a very nice clone that's it's very similar to Creed. It's about 90% of Creed is in here and I think I'm, I'm gonna tell you guys the changes that I think are the differences of how they compare and here's Creed's thing, the Creed sample and here's the clone of Creed. So Club de Nuit Intense Man, uh, let me show you guys first the sprayer real quick. The sprayer, it's not a bad sprayer, but it doesn't, it sprays kind of, it goes, it goes like this, it goes up and then goes out. It doesn't just spread as soon as it comes out. So I'll show you guys real quick. I hope this, this shows on the screen. So it's not, it's not that strong. Ooh, the smell, so. Yeah, that wasn't that's good but <coughs> shoot <coughs> but pretty much what it is it's it's a clone i think it's the closest clone to creed <coughs> <coughs> so pretty much yeah this is 90 to 95 percent of creed um and now i'm gonna i'm gonna tell you guys the differences so club de nuit intense man the difference in, or I mean, let's start with Creed. Creed has a very fruity opening. It's it's like pineapple, uh, pineapple, bergamot, gray. Um, I think it's black currant. I'm trying to remember, and another another fruit. I'm not sure what it was, but those uh, fruits are in Club de Nuit Test Man and Creed. They both have the same top notes, but there is one thing added to Club de Nuit Intense Man that doesn't is not added to um, Creed. It kind of when you when you compare them two to get, when you compare them very close to each other, they you will be able to distinctively tell the difference. Not very clearly, but you will be able to tell the difference. So this has an added note of lemon. It has lemon and the top notes of Creed. It has lemon. This, this doesn't have lemon. This has pineapple, pi black currant bergamot and another fruit i forgot what it was but but this has the same fruits just with lemon added and that lemon just makes it a little bit more citrusy so when you when i spray it on the opening is less fruity but more citrusy like sort of like a slight bit of a slight bit of lemon just in the background that's the only difference significantly when you first spray it on now with the dry down the dry downs, pretty much the notes are exactly the same. They're just some of the no, the some of the um, bass notes on the Creed are the, the middle notes on this. So, but you still got that rose. You still got the vanilla. You still got the patchouli. You still got the musk and the wood. You still got the birch wood in both of these. The only difference, as well um, as the lemon, is the performance. Performance on Club de Nuit Intense, man. It's for, I mean, this is, I got this for 30, I got this for $28. Is it worth it? I think it is. Um, for what, for how long it lasts, it is. I mean, it lasts about five to six hours while Creed lasts about seven to nine hours. Um, actually, no, Club de Nuit Intense, man, lasts from like four to six hours, I would say. And Creed Aventus lasts from like seven to nine hours, um, averagely. I think. Club de Nuit Intense Man is the closest you will get, but mostly guys, let's, uh, I'm, tr I'm gonna say this truthfully, mostly um, what I think is if you're gonna buy Creed and you've heard all this hype about it and you think it's good and you, you want it really bad, but you can only afford one cologne, I wouldn't say buy Creed. I would say buy a versatile cologne. You guys can check out my top five um, or my five must-have colognes. One of those colognes in that video are probably your best option, but if you're on a semi-budget and you could spend um, up to $300 for a cologne, then I would suggest maybe trying out Creed, um, a sample first, and then buying it if you want. But just one thing, guys, that when, like, I'm, you know, I'm on a restricted budget too. I can't go ahead and just buy Creed Aventus just like that, like spending $260 for it. I can't really do that. But if I did get it, it would mean the most to me and not to anybody else. If somebody else 
saw my colognes and it would be like, I had no idea about Creed Aventus and smelt it and said it's bad. That's like, that doesn't matter to me because to me, I'm, I have in my hands a $300 cologne or $400 cologne. I don't know what the price is now, but a $400 cologne in my hands. And you know where I'm putting that? I'm putting that on the freaking top of my shelf, crowned on the top. If I get it, I'm just saying. So well, if you guys get an expensive cologne, what it, it means most to yourself. It doesn't mean a lot to anybody else. It means most to yourself. It's kind of having that prized possession. And I've never bought any cologne that's above like $120. So to own a cologne above $120 is a very prized possession, but I don't have it. I'm, I don't have it yet, so right now I'm sticking to this, and this is a very good alternative, but I have the sample of Creed Aventus, but this is a very good alternative. Uh, just one thing, on my skin, it doesn't last that long, but the scent is just a little bit citrusy, too citrusy on the top, and less fruity, but the base notes are almost exactly the same. It's just, this is not as concentrated as Creed is, because I feel like, Creed is professionally made. The siage it, it creates um, is very good in Creed. In Creed, you, you don't have to like really like you don't have to sniff your arm to freaking smell a cologne. You just kind of lay your, your nose over it like this and you'd smell Creed Aventus. But with this cologne, you slightly like have to kind of like dig in your arm to smell it and Oh damn, it's already going off. I, I sprayed it like four hours ago and now it's already going off. I can barely smell it. The lack that the Club the We Intense Man has to Creed is the performance and the too much citrusy at the top note. If they fixed that, they would have maybe an exact copy of Creed and nobody would get Creed. They would just get this one for what? Like this is for $30 and this is for you can find this for like 260 but uh, if you want to go and get it li literally from their website, you would have to pay 405 And yeah, let's just say you pay 260 $30. I would go, if you had the money, get this. If you don't, and you want to smell and trick people and telling, like, I've, I've had one person uh, tell me, like, what's this cologne? When he asked me, I was like, Creed Aventus. Then he looked up Creed Aventus and he was like, Dude, that's $300. Are you kidding? You would spend that much. And in my head, I was like, <laughs> You have been cracked. But so basically, you know, I just fooled somebody with it. And that guy didn't know what Creed smelled like. That, that he didn't have no idea about fragrances. He just saw it. And yeah, I mean, you could, if you had this, you could definitely get away with people that know what Creed smells like. People know what Creed Aventus smells like. They would definitely fall for the trap if you say, if you have this on and you say it's Creed Aventus, they would definitely fall for it. So that's how close they are. They are like neck and neck. There's just a few differences and, one, and the differences are the ones I listed. If I were you, I would get a sample of Creed, smell it, and then if you like it, get this one. But yeah, if you guys enjoyed this video click the like button below and like this video su subscribe peace and also check out the top five must-have clones if you want a good good cologne that's not just a specific for a type of weather very versatile colognes peace